Welcome everybody with you, Dr. Magdi Abdelrazi, consultant of infectious diseases, hepatology, and gastroenterology. Our topic today about erythema nodosa. We will discuss symptoms, causes, treatment. Also, we will discuss diagnosis. Also, in cases uh, of pregnancy. Also, also we will uh, talk about uh, the outlook of the disease. As regards erythema uh, nodosum, uh, it is a skin condition that causes painful, swollen, red or purple pumps, most commonly on the shins. Sometimes the pumps can also form on other parts of the body. This condition is the most common form of paniculitis, which is inflammation of the fat layer underneath the skin. It is often caused by an immune response uh, to an infection or a reaction to drugs you have taken. As regards the symptoms, the main symptom is red, painful bumps on the lower part of your legs. Sometimes these bumps can also appear on your thighs, arms, torso, and feet. The lumps can be one half uh, inch up to four inches. You may have anywhere from two to fifty of them. Erythema nodosum bumps are painful and they may feel hot. They start out red and then turn purple looking like bruises as they heal. They also flatten out while healing. The bumps can last for uh, two weeks. New bumps can keep forming for up to six weeks. Other symptoms of erythema nodosum include fever, fatigue, joint pain, pain in the legs, ankle swelling, also enlarged lymph nodes in the chest, cough, sore throat, weight loss, stomach pain, also diarrhea. Causes, in more than half of all cases, the cause is unknown. Erythema nodosum often starts after you have had an infection or you have used certain medicines. Doctors believe it may be caused by an immune system overreaction to bacteria and the other substance you have, uh, you are exposed to. Causes uh, may include infection such as streptococcal throat or tuberculosis. Reaction to drugs such as antibiotics like sulfonamide uh, and also forms of penicillin salicylate, iodides, bromides, and the birth control pills. Sarcoidosis, a condition that causes inflammation in many parts of the body. Coxidomycosis, it is an infection of the lung and the upper respiratory tract. It is a fungal infection. Also sometimes inflammatory bowel disease like ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease. Maybe pregnancy. Also, sometimes cancer may lead to the disease, but it is rarely. Erythema nodosum most often affects people aged uh, from 20 to 40. Women are six times more likely to develop it than men. However, it can happen in people of any age and in both sexes. Uh, as regards the treatment, uh, if bacteria infection causes this condition, your doctor will prescribe antibiotic to treat it. You can treat erythema nodosum that caused by drug reaction by stopping the medicine. Uh, these medicines can help you manage pain and other symptoms until the lumps heal, like uh, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, uh, also aspirin, ibuprofen. Uh, all this uh, can lead to recovery from uh, erythema nodosum. Uh, potassium iodide, oral steroids, uh, sometimes we use 
colchicine also rest with your legs elevated and wear compression stocking while the pumps heal uh, also avoid irritating the pumps by wearing itchy or tight clothing uh, all this may help in recovery as regards the diagnosis your doctor will ask about uh, uh, your health history and whether you have recently had an infection or used certain medicines uh, then your doctor will look at the pumps you will likely get a blood test to look for signs of inflammation in your body blood tests also be used to check for tuberculosis and other infections you may have a throat culture to look for streptococcal throat other tests look for the causes of erythema nodosum include urine test chest x-ray stool culture uh, as regard uh, in pregnancy about five percent of pregnant women develop erythema nodosum the cause may be increased estrogen level during pregnancy erythema nodosum is treated in much the same way during a pregnancy as it is uh, in women who are not pregnant however some of the medicines like non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs used to treat this condition cannot be used during a pregnancy bed rest and compression stocking can help manage pain and other symptoms uh, as regards the outlook of the disease erythema nodosum can be uncomfortable but it is usually not serious the mumps will often fade within two to four weeks but they can take up to two months to heal completely uh, you will likely uh, have some bruising as the bumps fade but they usually do not leave scars pain in your legs can continue for up to years after erythema nodosum heals it is also possible uh, the condition can come back in the future so the disease uh, may recur uh, uh, every now and then and the main uh, treatment it depends on steroids uh, anti-inflammatory uh, and non-steroidal drugs uh, as analgesic and also we can use colchicine all this medication can help to manage uh, the condition of erythema nodosum uh, sometimes erythema nodosum can uh, 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 we can uh, diagnose it as cellulitis or erysipelas so it enter in differential diagnosis of erysipelas and cellulitis but as i told you it is overreactive uh, reaction from drug or uh, infection uh, immunologically uh, thank you very much